All right, I've been living in my motorhome this winter and this is how it went. Um, I do want to say quick before the video starts that if you are really interested in like the problems and issues people have with living in the motorhome in the winter, this might not be the most amazing video because I think a lot of the things people have problems with are things that I just didn't have a problem with because I went without like my pipes freezing, all of that stuff. I just didn't have running water. I used, I was like dry camping except for electricity. Um, yeah, my gas, I, I used a small electric Walmart heater, um, and I only used my gas for, like, making my food on the skillet, and my gas thankfully lasted me the entire winter, so, um, with that being said, um, let's get into more of, like, the diary entry of my videos and how I do it, um, but yeah, we did, like I said, try to dump it one time. Sometimes to help the vehicle start, we have to put gas. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but <laughs> we have to put gas in the one thing. Not like the gas tank, <laughs> but yeah, to get it to start again. So that was what would, had happened. And so we went and got gas and did that. First time dumping the RV. <laughs> so we tried to dump it, Sponsored but by. I don't think there was enough in the... Um, tank to dump and since I can't tell how full or not full it is um it was kind of a waste but um it was nice because like I just didn't know how long it was gonna last and I was really trying to use the bathroom sparingly which was kind of annoying if you know what I mean um so yeah it ended up lasting me the entire winter I didn't have to dump it and then we worked he worked <laughs> on getting it level Um, these video clips are not in any particular order because if you would notice in the video clips before I'd already painted but I wanted to paint the RV to to give it like a more I don't know clean look um, so that's what I did it, it's really hard for me to do anything sometimes in the RV because there's just no space and in fact I have a bunch of stuff that I ended up taking and storing at Alex's house so also, this is me. I am doing a voiceover over this, but it was me talking about the terrible vacuum cleaner. Like the vacuum cleaner was bad. There was just a lot of things that had to happen clean cleaning wise in the RV because since I got it right away and I moved in right away, it was still it's still really, really dirty. Not because the people who had it before are disgusting or anything, just because like it's been years and years of dirt and like anything really needs cleaned after a while so um like especially the curtains and the floor and the carpet and the vacuum and i didn't have a vacuum so i went a really long time without even vacuuming and like trying to sleep in a certain position where i don't touch the walls because like it was just kind of dirty but anyway um so that with space wise but yeah so to paint it was just like stuffing everything in a corner to do any cleaning it's like you just have to rearrange the entire rv just to do like one little spot and then you have to put it all back and then you don't really have a place to sleep because like the project could take more than one day which is why i actually slept in my car after i painted um and it was starting to get really cold it got like down to 26 in my car and so even right now as I'm speaking there's it's not finished I haven't finished painting and so and on top of that I actually really don't like how it turned out like I wish I would have kept it with the wood paneling but in my brain I was like wood paneling is the worst I I hate wood paneling but now I'm realizing like oh it actually gave it like a a weird camping vibe and I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to, I'm obviously not going to take off the paint because I can't, it would just like literally hurt the wood paneling, but I'm going to have to like follow through with painting it and, and doing the trim and all that stuff if I want it to kind of, um, be exactly what I want or not exactly what I want, but like better. And also 
I'm a terrible painter. I am a terrible painter. Well, um, this was the first coat. I did another coat and I need to do more coats, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'm a bad painter. And so on top of that, I was getting paint everywhere. And then I had the vents open and it just started getting too cold. Anyway, uh, <coughs> painting is still not done yet so I was actually procrastinating this video so I could get that done anyway this is just more chaos of me cleaning and trying to figure out how to store things and sleep and get like all the things that I wanted to happen um so I took everything down from here because this was originally my bed like the full entire top was my bed but I never got a chance to clean it either so um I was yeah I found that ew disgusting gross I cleaned that I disinfected that Ugh. But um, then I tried putting storage up because um, you could flip the half of that thing over like you can kind of see and it's easier to access the front. But um, and then I tried, you know, just having this was me just doing my work with like painting and everything. And, and then I slept in my car, but like I just have too much stuff at the beginning of this and I think I thought since I was in my car before I was like, oh, I have more space. I want to keep my stuff because I. I want to start, I don't know, I miss my hobbies and like I want to do some of that stuff. Also, this is my beautiful car. Isn't it pretty? Um, it was really cool. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I started cleaning. I stored more stuff at Alex's house. I took those cushions to Alex's house. I took like a lot of the stuff that I didn't need because also I actually go down there a lot more. Um, so if I need to get it, I'm basically down there at least every other week. But yeah, I tried a million different things with where to put my bed. I tried the big bed up top. I tried the little bed in this clip you can see. I put the bed multiple times where the table was, um, like where you would eat at, which is ultimately where I'm going to keep it. And I don't know if I'll put a clip at the end of this or just make a, a totally different video of more of just like, um, to show actually I'll probably just make a whole different video to show like um, how it turned out because it's gonna be cute y'all it's not gonna be this cluttered you know it looks like I have stickers everywhere basically <laughs> I mean you know what I mean like my frosted mini wheat decoration on the top of my stove that's in the trash can right now um, <laughs> a lot of trial and error error in my life anyway this is just me talking about I don't know what because um which is kind of funny because when I talk sometimes my voiceovers match my hand. Anyway, we're gonna stop this voiceover and go to the next thing, which is laundry. And so laundry mats are really gross and awful, and but they're also simultaneously simultaneously at the same time kind of fun. Like, I don't know, it's kind of fun to have a ton of quarters. I mean, yeah, you put them in a machine and they're gone. <laughs> but like, I don't know, it's just fun. And then this stinking dryer, you open it and it steeps keeps going around i'm like worked up i can't even talk right it keeps turning and then your stuff falls out on the gross laundry mat floor <sighs> my sanity but yeah i will a lot of times go to the laundry mat or i'll actually most of the time i'll end up doing laundry at alex's but sometimes it doesn't work out that way or other wash machines sometimes I do my dishes at the bathhouse, but in the summer I'm going to be doing it outside, but the bathhouse has hot water that I don't have to warm up, and I try not to warm up water more than I have to because I don't have a dehumidifier, and like I really don't want, um, you know, mold or anything like that. Oh yeah, and I cleaned my carpet. <laughs> So fulfilling to do and actually really fun and I need to do it again because look from just one time with the carpet this actually wasn't even the bathroom that clip was a different clip I did the bathroom separately so this was just from the walkway ew from one time it's it's pure chocolate milk baby then I got this board from Lowe's which I'm gonna put over the sink so that I have more of a workspace since I'm not using the sink and stuff just clutters up. And then on to cooking, uh, baking, whatever, not not baking, but cooking. Um, really enjoy when this, oh, I don't know. It makes me happy sometimes. The light hits it through this window. It just makes me so happy. Like, I need to clean this, but like, oh, what is my life? It's beautiful. And I have yet to use my oven because I don't want to use too much um, gas. And I'm like trying to make the gas last all winter. <laughs> Such a vibe. I love this so much. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I love all the colors. I love the food. Although 
I don't like letting my noodles get too mushy and I'm letting them get mushy by taking all these pictures and filming. The cooking setup though. Thank you so much for watching that is the end of this video and this is a little sneak peek of my living room <laughs> see there's nothing being stored there anyway also sneak peek of the back um you have a great day please subscribe or don't subscribe and all that jazz <laughs> oh <laughs> wow look how cute we are <laughs> it's literally just hitting me <laughs> it's just clumps falling out it's not even I literally went down the sleeves of the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> mm.